everybody. This is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I want to share with you this week what I'm batch cooking. Many of you know I've been really enjoying this. I've not been doing demos on Sundays and I spend Sundays and I spend a big part of the day cooking and we've been having a lot of fun doing this and it gives us food for the entire week. What I love about it especially is we have choices. And so if somebody wants chili that day, they can have chili. If they want uh, chicken fajita meat, they can have that. And so it gives us a lot of variety and we have food for the entire week. I'm going to share with you everything I made and then I'm going to share with you how much did I spend on all of this. And the answer may surprise you. First of all, you guys know that I bought these at Sam's and it was less than, I think it was $7 and something for all of these. 36 pans. I use these for my batch cooking and if I can, I wash them out depending on what I'm making them. So, one of the things that I made, and I'm going to leave the link below, and we only have a few left, I made some iced oatmeal cookies and my husband likes to dip these in coffee. They turned out delicious. I got the recipe from Catherine's Plate. I know I've shouted her out many times. It's one of my favorite cooking channels and the reason why is a lot of the ingredients that she tells you you already have at home and her recipes are really simple and everything I made from her channel is delicious. So that is one of the things and they turned out great. They're ice oatmeal cookies. I also made some chicken fajita meat. My husband really liked that. You can use it on salad or you can just eat it plain. And so I have that in the freezer. I also made, well this is last week, we have some uh, south of the border rice. I have that left over from last week. It has chilies in it and cheese. My husband also really enjoys that. I also made my husband's favorite thing, mashed potatoes. That was easy because I have potatoes at home so I made that. Remember I'm trying to mostly use what I have at home and I'm looking for what is the oldest thing in the refrigerator, freezer, and pantry that I need to find a creative use for. Uh, marinated meat, and I'm not even sure. These are just chicken thighs, and they had the marinade that came with them. We got them on clearance. They've been in the freezer a while. Taste delicious and very flavorful, so I made that. Also, one of the things I want to mention is some of you may wonder, are you eating vegetables? I have tons of frozen veggies, so what I do is I make that up because they're steamable, and I make them with the meal, and so we've been using our steamable vegetables. I also, this is my favorite thing. I made lemon pepper salmon. This is wild caught salmon. Salmon is one of my very, it would be in my top five favorite foods. I know you're probably surprised that the dessert isn't in my top five. Well, that is too, but I love salmon and I love lemon and I love lemon pepper and lemon juice. Makes a delicious salmon. So I have that. Also, another recipe from wonderful Catherine's plate. It's a cheesy potato hot dish. Hot dishes are very frugal to eat. And guess what? I had some old cheese. I had some ground beef I needed to use and corn and uh, some potatoes. And I threw it together for a casserole. Thank you, Catherine's Plate. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, that's the rice. Let me look here. Oh, and that's, let's see. Was this something I've already opened? I have so many different things. Oh, yeah, that's the vahina meat. Um, another thing that I made is, and that this is something else I had extra of, this is garlic potato sliced. I have that. I made a keto waffle in my keto, so this is a grain-free waffle. It's a no-carb keto waffle. And I made barbecue green beans that are delicious. And the reason that I made that was because I have tons of barbecue sauce, and this is smoked barbecue sauce, and it is so good. So I'm using that. Because I have tons of graham cracker shells, I made a lemon Kool-Aid pie. And then I made my husband a cake because we have this and some frosting that I got for 50 cents and I wanted to use that up. So these are all the things that we're eating. Not all the things. Let me rephrase that. I've got a salad in the refrigerator that I need to make up and put together, but I do that fresh. I don't keep that with the dressing and everything in the refrigerator. And I've got a bunch of frozen veggies and then we're eating that throughout with this. So I have to tell you, I absolutely love doing this. Many of you are wondering, why aren't you putting some of this stuff in the freezer? I don't have a lot of freezer space. 
Now, when I start clearing out the freezer, I might start doing batch cooking and double batch cooking and then putting some of those meals in the freezer, but I'm not there yet. So I need to use all the stuff that I have. I'm just having a lot of fun with this. How much did all of this cost? Last week I spent five. This week, now I did buy some things at the grocery store, but not for this. This week I spent zero dollars. Every single thing you see here is from my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. All the items I had, one of you said, hey, you don't even need to go to the store. That is true. I didn't need to go to the store for most things, but there were some other things we needed. But because of that, I only spent a little over $40 on groceries this past week. I just filled in on some other things that we needed, but usually I spend over $100. So doing this batch cooking helps me to use everything we have and it's starting to show in my grocery spending. So I'm just having a lot of fun with this. And I know some of you may be interested in this. Some of you may not. And if not, that's okay. Just for those of you that are interested, you can watch the videos. And what I'm going to do is if I find YouTube video recipes, I'll link them below in the description box. And I'm going to link both of the recipes from Catherine's Plate that I use for the... Um, oh, iced oatmeal cookies that are really good and they're very soft and also for the easy cheesy potato casserole dish and she said it's her family's favorite I actually haven't tried it but my husband liked it so that's what I made this week if you want to share any batch cooking tips put it in the comments below I love you appreciate you and see you next week for another batch cooking episode bye bye